Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Who's next? How about you, Darrell? No thanks, Sledge. I don't really feel like arm wrestling. Ah, oh, come on. I won't even use my gun. No. I think I'll just go home. So, what, uh, wanna go bowling? How about some pool? Mm -hmm. Darrell, we're partners, and we're supposed to act like buddies. Now, the only way I know how to act like buddies is to go bowling, or play pool, or arm wrestle, or shoot guns. You wanna shoot guns? I don't feel like being a buddy tonight. You don't wanna shoot guns? Women. Can't live with them. Can't live with them. Oh, Hammer, Doro, this is Lionel Dashman. The Lionel Dashman? Please. Just call me Dash. Call me Dory. Call me irresponsible. Mr. Dashman is a special operative from Interpol. Well, oh, that's one of those countries in Europe, isn't it? Sledge. Dash is the top anti-terrorist in the world. I'm well acquainted with your exploits due to my own anti-terrorist investigations. Yeah. Well, uh, Captain, what are we doing here besides talking about what a great guy Dish is? Dash. Ah. <clears throat> now, at the present time, I'm on the trail of an international terrorist known only as the Pelican. The Pelican? Shut up, Hammer. Yeah, but I mean, the Pelican? <laughs> Thank you, Captain. My contacts have informed me that the Pelican plans to assassinate the Archbishop of Costa Pobre tomorrow night. Most probably as he uh, makes a speech at the Commander Hotel. It's my duty to stop him. Now, this is all we know about what he looks like. There's nothing there. Correct. We have absolutely no idea what he looks like. All right, listen up. Effective immediately, Agent Dashman is in charge of security for the Archbishop's speech. That means he is calling the shots, Hammer. We are working for him. Is that clear? Yeah, no, that's, that's good. So, what's your big plan, Mansoor? Well, first, I thought we'd examine a mock-up of the hotel banquet room. Look, this detail is amazing. Oh, there's a little archbishop. He's running around saying, Oh, Dash, oh, protect me, Dash, protect me. Oops. The pelican shot his hat off. Ooh. It's nothing to joke about, Inspector. I wasn't joking, Mr. Dash. The pelican has a brilliant criminal mind. He's crafty, he's wickedly smart, and he's a chameleon. He can assume any identity. Yeah, well, if you were half as smart as he is, you wouldn't be wasting your time on this dollhouse, Tinkerbell. You'd be down there at the hotel checking it out in person. Sledge, I'm sure Dash is much more experienced in these matters than you. No, no, the inspector has a point. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Detective Darrow, I'd be very grateful if you would personally assist me on an inspection of the hotel facilities. I don't mind if I do. Well, I do mind if you do. You do? I don't. I do. I think it would be far more productive if you were to stay here at the precinct. And then I would be effectively doing nothing. I know. Mm, I wonder if this hotel is earthquake proof. Oh, look at that. Help. Oh, no. Look, little Dash. He's trying to escape. He's trying to escape. Help! I don't like it. There's too many entrances. Yeah, I ate so far. We'll seal off seven, leaving just one way in and out of this room. Well, what about checking out the Archbishop's room? Terrorists tend not to strike in private rooms. Their actions always take place in public, I'm afraid. Right. Well, I still think we should get a set of master keys so that we have uh, access to the rooms and the storage areas and the closets. Your intelligence is matched only by your beauty. 
Thank you for noticing. Shall we check outside? So anyway, my dad was against me being a cop. Thought I'd lose my femininity. Sorry. You could be a coal miner and not lose your femininity. You know, when you look at me like that, it makes me hear thunder. You know, when you look at me like that, you make me feel like it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Perhaps we should discuss this somewhere where it's a little drier. Oh, I don't know. You look particularly wonderful when you're wet. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, my place is um, nearby. Would you like to come over and I'll cook you a home-cooked meal? Oh, I've heard of those. Isn't that a uh, meal where you don't have to tip anybody? Yes. Hammer, what are you doing? Nothing. I tell you, Captain, that dash is trash. I can't believe that Dory didn't smell that fertilizer he was feeding her. Ah, uh, do I detect a note of jealousy from Mr. I don't feel anything, Hammer? Huh? You know what I say to that? I say, ha! Me? Jealous of that donut hole? In my whole life, I've been jealous of one man. One man only. Custer. Excuse me, Captain. I've just gotten a report of a dead body being pulled out of the river. Thank you. A dead body? Now, there's something I can sink my teeth into. I'll go check it out. Hammer, you're already on the Archbishop's security detail. Hey, I can do two things at once. You can't even do one thing at once. Come on, Captain. You know dead bodies are my life. <sighs> All right. If it'll get you out of my face, take off. What's up, Norman? Not him. His face and his fingertips were beaten in oatmeal. And he's got a bullet hole in his chest the size of Montana. Oh, did I mention? He's dead. I smell foul play. I wouldn't do that, Hammer. This one's really disgusting. If I wasn't a coroner, I'd be sick. Norman, being a coroner already means you're sick. The only way we're going to ID this one is through dental records, and that could take a while. I suspect he's a foreigner. All his clothes carry European labels. So what? All my clothes have foreign labels. Taiwan. Hope you enjoyed dinner. Splendid, as is the company. And the brie, was it ripe enough? Oh, delectable. In fact, I'd venture to say it's the very best dairy product I've ever tasted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being really stupid. I, I'm nervous. Well, it's, it's just that it's been a long time since I've, I've had a guest. I mean a man. I mean a man guest. Here. <sighs> Look, let's face it, it's been a long time since I've been with a man, period. This, um, this partner of yours, what's his name? Sludge? Sledge. I care about him, but our relationship is strictly professional. Really? So far, I haven't found anything professional about the man. No, Sledge is OK. He's a good cop. Well, he's not really a good cop, but I've grown accustomed to him. Ah. Uh, loyalty. Another fine attribute to add to an already substantial list. If I, um, mentioned I think you're quite extraordinary. You make me feel like that. Oh, I hate this. I really hate this. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. No. Me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, really, first dates are, are, are <laughs> so awkward. Adam. No, it's, it's my line of work. Always on the move. Always in another city, always with strangers, always alone. Well, you're not alone now. 
I know. That's what's so frustrating. I finally meet an incredible woman like you. Someone I'd really like to get involved with. And I can't. A couple of days from now, I'll be a thousand miles away. Another assignment, another city. Alone again. I understand, Ash. It's not often that two people like us meet. So since we have such a limited amount of time, I suggest we make the best of it. You know, you Americans are a lot wiser than the rest of the world gives you credit for. Well, I heard a noise and I thought you might be in trouble. How was I supposed to know London Bridge was falling down? How dare you burst into my private apartment? How dare you kiss alien lips? You're an American. Surprised this fop even likes women. I beg your pardon? I don't pardon anybody. Neither do I. You're not still upset about that little incident last night, are you? Little incident? You barge into my private apartment like Rambo in heat and proceed to ruin the first romantic evening I've had in years? Because of you, Dash left. How dare you interfere with my personal life? Come on, Darrow. You're not supposed to get involved with people you work with. Besides, you've got to be suspicious of somebody who's so perfect. Maybe he's married. Think about it. Mm. Oh, is that so? Well, why don't we just retrieve his files, and both of us will find out. Fine. Fine. Lionel Dashman, age 36. Single. Instrumental in averting coup. Single-handedly prevented terrorist bomb attack. Received total of 16 citations for heroism. So he got lucky once. Big deal. Further information classified. No access. Oh, yeah. I can break that code. Bingo. Presently working under code name Icebreaker. Top secret. He's clean, Hammer. You're late, Inspector Hammer. I was busy doing something important. Oh, and what exactly do you consider to be important? Breaking down doors and destroying the personal lives of those closest to you? Yeah, that's always at the top of my list. So, what do you say I destroy your face? Sledge, whose face did you destroy last night? It was a sucker punch. Yes, I did indeed punch a sucker. Would somebody mind explaining to me what this attempted witty banter is all about? Uh, nothing, Captain. Well, then, let's get on with this, please. All right, I want one last thorough search. The Pelican may have planted a bomb anywhere. I want you to check every seat, every curtain, every nook and every cranny. What has this case got to do with English muffins? Shh. Hammer, start at the podium. Captain, check over that side. Doro, over there. I'm going out to check on the others, OK? Right, let's go! It's where? The bombing will begin in five minutes. Hammer, what are you doing? I was just checking to see if you can hear it. Can you hear this? Stop screwing around with that thing. I was checking to see if it was on. Yes, it's on. Okay, okay. Leave it alone. Okay, okay.
Inspector Hammer. Uh, hey, do you mind? Can't you see that I'm frisking a curtain? Thank you. I thought I told you to check this podium. Yeah, I did. It's clear. I suppose you thought this was chewing gum. Plastic explosives, where'd you find it? Uh -huh. Under the podium, it would appear that the inspector isn't very good at inspecting. Hey, now, wait a minute. I checked that dang thing 45 seconds ago and there was nothing there. Except the explosives. Look, you bag of British botulism. You planted it, didn't you, huh? You planted it to make me look bad. <sighs> Sledge, you know, it's really embarrassing. Use someone else to cover your own incompetence. Yeah, your incompetence is already common knowledge. All right, that does it. Ever since this bag of English earwax showed up here, it's been put down hammer time. Well, the time is up! Ha! Come on. I think it's obvious that the inspector, and I use the term loosely, is emotionally unfit for this assignment. I think it would be best for all concerned, especially the Archbishop, if he were to leave the premises permanently. Yeah. Good idea. All right. Fine. 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 They can't treat me like this. I'm a cop, and I demand respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, that's what being a cop means to me. Hey, Hammer, you got a minute? Major, I got so much time on my hands, it's about to break my fingers. You know, we got a partial ID on that body from the river. Some hotshot Interpol guy. They wouldn't release his real name. Most he would give us was his current code name, Icebreaker. What's that tell us? I don't know, that he's a dead Eskimo? I don't know. Wait a minute, Icebreaker? That's Dash's code name. But if this is Dash and Dash is dead, then who's... I don't know. Yes, I do. The Pelican. Dash. I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Uh, I wanted to apologize for last night. It was really stupid. Yeah, hammer bursting in like that wasn't exactly my idea of an icebreaker. <laughs> do you think it's safe to say that out loud? I didn't know idea was a bad word. Icebreaker. I'm sorry. Uh, I found out. Found out what? Oh, icebreaker. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't you know your own code name? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The Archbishop will be arriving momentarily. Hammer, what the hell are you doing here? I'm gonna stop Dash from killing the Archbishop. Dash? Why would Dash want to do that? Because Dash is not Dash. Dash is dead. What? The body that was found in the river was identified as Lionel Dashman. This Dash is not the real Dash. This Dash is really the Pelican. Now, where's that dirty bird? I got some wings to clip. The last time I saw him, he was with Doro. the Archbishop. I'll take care of the Pelican. No way, Sledge. He's mine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce the Archbishop of, of Costra, Aubrey.
Wait! You lying creep. Or I'll blow your miserable brains out of your worthless head. Dory, I know this looks bad, but I can explain. I was so starved for affection, I actually believed you cared for me. No, 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 no. You've got to believe me. I'm, I'm deeply in love with you. You're lying. No, no. For the first time in my life, I'm telling the truth. Okay, right. I'm not perfect. I've got my vices like everyone else. I just happened to uh, kill people for enormous sums of money. But after meeting you, I decided that this would be my last job. <sighs> because I wanted to start a new life with you. So please, darling, help me escape. So what are you doing here so late? Nothing. Cross-referencing some files. I suppose you're here to gloat, right? <laughs> okay, go ahead, say it. You were right and I was wrong. Oh, go on, rub it in. Now tell me all about how you knew this guy was no good for me and you tried to tell me and I wouldn't listen. <sighs> okay, I'm an idiot. I made a fool of myself. Just say what you have to say and get out, okay? Well, what I was going to say was, if you're not busy, would you like to go bowling, buddy? I could beat you any time, bud. You and what army? <laughs> <laughs> 